she's safe and we know where she's at and she's she's she's, she's with us that's the main thing Thank goodness. A lot of relief tonight from IMPD and from all of us here in Indianapolis. A two year old girl who'd been missing since four o'clock this morning is located and is now safe with her family. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler and I'm Beershell Edme. Metro Police confirmed about an hour and a half ago someone dropped off the toddler 16 hours after she went missing on the near east side. Now the investigation is still happening right now. There are a lot of questions people want answers to. Yeah, Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli is live there at the scene where she's been all evening. Courtney, where does this investigation stand right now? Well, you guys, before I get to that, I just want to say that I do agree with this feeling of relief that we are all experiencing right now. It has been a long day out here for investigators, for family members, neighbors, community that have been coming out to help with everything they could here. But that feeling of relief now sweeping over the neighborhood after that two year old girl was found hours later. Investigators got on scene here around two o'clock after they were alerted to that missing persons report for the girl that they believed was last seen at four this morning. Again, she is home tonight. That is the good news here, but still lots of unanswered questions that investigators are working to get to the bottom of right now. But again, she is home safe and in the company of family. That is the most important part here. She was evaluated by IEMS. We watched as she was put into an ambulance tonight. They say they believe she is OK, but of course, protocols. They wanted to make sure she was OK, bringing in those medical personnel to evaluate her as well. Police say the investigation doesn't stop here. It's still ongoing. They're working to piece together what happened, where she was, who she was with. Preliminary information that detectives received suggests that someone dropped her off, but who that was is not clear. It has not been released by investigators tonight. Police say a family member in the area was able to make contact with her, but again, they still need to know where she was in that 16 hour window, who she was with and how she wandered away or how those circumstances played out. They say they're thankful to the sheriff's office, state police, FBI, everyone who did the work they did over here tonight. We do know DCF also responded to the scene and is investigating as well. But IMPD again, breathing a sigh of relief with all of us in the community tonight to be able to say that this little girl is safe with her family. Cousins or brother and sister, however you want to say, it, I think they're ecstatic. One of the kids, they call her Jelly Bean as her her nickname and so one of the the, the uh, I think he's maybe 10 or 11 say oh we knew we would bring Jelly Bean home we knew she would be coming home so that kind of melts your heart and makes it all worth it in the end so we get to go home peacefully tonight and that makes me feel good so I'm happy about it I think the community members are happy about it yeah, I think you can hear a big change in the demeanor from Officer William Young's voice there too, just hours before where obviously he shared in that urgency, the want to get this girl home safely. You know, we talked about the people who came out to help search tonight, who IMPD is thanking for their help. We saw them walking alleyways, knocking on doors, looking throughout the neighborhood. We talked to some and we asked them, why did you come out? What made you compelled to feel like this is something you wanted to do? And we saw and talked to many of them. This is just, you know, one woman who said this is something she had to do. I have triple urine babies that are two years old. I have children of my own. And if one of them came up missing, I would pray that people would be out here looking for my grandbabies, like me and my husband and people from the community are out here doing now. And we thank them as well for all of this because police say they cannot thank the community enough for everything that people did, including tips, providing video. People gave information. They were coming up asking officers if they could canvas the area, asking us if they could canvas the area, wanting to help in any way that they could. They say that community information that helped unquestionably played a role in getting this little girl home safely. Again, this investigation doesn't stop now that she's home. It's active. It's ongoing. And police say they still are asking for those tips. If you live in the area, your home service or doorbell caught something, please do them a favor and call that in. Anything will help the investigation piece together where this little girl was. But again, she is home safe tonight. The best update possible that we could be bringing you tonight at 10. For now, reporting on the Near East Side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Yeah, a lot of relief, a lot of answered prayers tonight. Thank you so much, yeah. Courtney. We appreciate it. Again, that two year old safe with her family tonight. IMPD says someone brought her home after a family member somehow finally made contact with her. But again, they're still working through the specifics of this. How did it happen and why? There are a lot of holds in the timeline here, 16 hours where this toddler was and who she was with. They still want to identify the woman that you kind of can make out here in this doorbell camera video. IMPD released it 
Earlier this evening, investigators say it shows a Hispanic woman carrying a small child. Police called her a person of interest. And again, they still want to talk to her because there are still questions about what happened today. Now, police are also asking community members who know anything about this. As you heard from Courtney earlier, please come forward, share those doorbell cameras and video that you have. Yeah, again, IMPD just thanking everyone who did come forward to share information today and help with this search. I can't thank the community enough for the information that you provided because that was so important. And I'm pretty sure that the information that was provided was a from the community was able to allow us to bring her home. And so I, I, I certainly, certainly thank the community for that. No doubt it's a big feeling of relief tonight, but the investigation does continue. We'll have updates here on air and online at fox59.com.